It's Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Today is Thursday, September 10th, 2020. Number one, I am excited to announce a new partnership with the Divine Nine and cultural activist Latasha Brown in informing and empowering our community to vote. The award-winning visionary thought leader Brown is leading the cause with her highly regarded political action committee, Black Voters Matter, that she co-founded. Brown's motto is, there is power in my voice. And we hear you, girlfriend, loud and clear. Number two, he knew and did not want to create a panic. According to Bob Woodward's latest book, Rage, Donald Trump knew how serious the coronavirus was early on, and he publicly downplayed the seriousness of the deadly virus. In a February 7th phone interview, Trump described the virus as deadly stuff. However, he told the American public the coronavirus was under control and that cases would soon be down to zero. Seven months later, The United States is headed to 7 million reported cases and over 190,000 deaths. Number three, up to 9 million people may be eligible for a federal stimulus check but have yet to claim the relief payment. This group of people are primarily those who don't usually file a federal income tax return, mainly senior citizens and low-income households. Individuals will have until October 15th to register for IRS.gov's non-filer tool to receive their payments by the end of this year. Number four, as racial tensions remain consistently high and protests persist in cities and towns around the country, many of the nation's largest city police chiefs are calling it quits, just as the November election draws near. Police chiefs in Atlanta, Louisville, Seattle, Dallas, and more have stepped down in the wake of the protests sparked by the killing of George Floyd in Minneapolis. Many are working hard to make drastic changes in policing, and by the looks of the numerous resignations taking place, Changes are coming, whether we like it or not. Number five, a number of hedge fund managers and controllers are giving new meaning to the phrase black excellence. According to a new report from Bloomberg Hedge Funds led by females or minorities perform nearly twice as well as their non-minority counterparts. These men and women are running it up like never before, especially when it comes to macro funds where minority lenders are outperforming the rest by over 40%. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with George Wallace as we discuss today's top headlines and more. That's what you need to know. For more information, please go to SybilWilkes.com and sign up for my free newsletter. Be informed, be empowered.